Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today is really exciting. Our taser have sent me some more wonderful products, um, and they are also um, sponsored me to do a giveaway on my channel. So I'm really, really excited. So that's really exciting for us all. So I'm going to just go through what we've got here, what they've sent me, um, and then I'm going to show you what I've made with them. Um, and then I'm going to tell you all about the giveaway. So it's really, really exciting. So the first product here we have got, we've got some oven bake clay. Um, we have got these, which are some of the outdoor acrylic colours, which are fantastic. We have got these amazing mica powders here. And I have got these fantastic, these I just love. These are the uh, watercolour books. Now in here, I'll go through these first. Um, you get 64 pages on here, they're 9 by 12 inches and it's 140 pound paper and it's 300 grams as well. They're hardback, you get two, um, they are hardback books, they are absolutely fantastic. I have had a play with everything um, so I can just give you an idea of what things are like and what you can make with them. So this paper is beautiful. I'm not a watercolour artist, so I have just been playing and the, it just looks fantastic. Um, I think they are just come out really, really good. Um, and you don't need much watercolour talent, really. Because um, on this one, I've just flicked some, some watercolour on there and I've just done some very basic flowers. And I think that it looks fantastic. And these pages, they've got a little um, perforated bit here, so you can just take the page out and that you could just pop into a frame. And they're fantastic pictures um, to give to people if you wanted to do some lovely Christmas presents. Um, and But I love this paper. Look at these. So I've done some really, really fun, fun um, pictures. This one, I've just taken off Pinterest, this picture, and it is so, so simple to do. So what I might do, I might just show you how to do that one on, a, on another video um, because you could pop that into a frame. This paper is fantastic and it's really, really good quality. Um, like I said before, you can do these pictures, pop them in the frame and give them to um, as presents and gifts and it wouldn't take you any time at all. And this paper, look how it's fantastic. That's another one of my faces that I've been doing. So keep practicing. But these are fantastic. You get two. Um, they're lovely. Look, they've got your Arteza stamp on the back. They're spiral bound. Um, and I think they are lovely. They're acid free, heavyweight. Um, you've got a hard cover, spiral bound, and ideal for watercolour techniques. But I think you could probably do a lot of your mixed media in here as well. Can you imagine doing... Actually, that's what I might do with this one. Let's have it as a nice spiral bound mixed media book um, because I do like spiral bound books because they just open up really really flat um, but the quality is fantastic now I've been using because last time they sent me the um, watercolour pencils um, so I've been using those as well on here and they are just lovely love 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 these so I'm sure you will too so you've got two fantastic big big books um, I'm going to pop the link to everything down below, pop over to Arteza, um, they have a YouTube channel, um, so go and pop over there and have a look, I'm going to put all the links down below. Um, now I'm going to show you these next, which is the oven baked clay. Now you get 42 colours, um, they are um, blendable, soft and pliable, easy to bake and non-toxic. Now, I've never used oven baked clay before, um, so you can see I've had a good go at this one. Um, and that I found them quite easy to use, um, and they are fantastic. You get a huge amount of colours. Um, you get little bits, a little bag here, with all sorts of little bits and pieces, because um, you can make jewellery with these. Um, you can make earrings, you look, a little hair slide on there. Got some beads in there, little dingly danglies you can use. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing with those in a bit. Just want to show you everything first. Because I've actually sort of mixed and matched things all together. Um, so you can see how things are made. Now these are fabulous, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful colours. 
each one is an ounce um, and I think they are just the right size because you get lots look I've still got bits and pieces everywhere because I've been having a good play with them um, and they are lovely look at these beautiful colors so and it's really nice because obviously they don't go hard so you don't have to wrap them up properly you just leave them and to make them go hard you have to bake them in the oven mm -hmm. now let me take a look let me see how long it takes it says on here one of them maybe it's on this box let's have a look i did see somewhere here we go right on the top so you pop them in the oven for 15 to 30 minutes now that's on 325 degrees um, or 163 um, so obviously it depends on what size thing you, that you make but I've the ones that I baked I popped in there for 30 minutes I did put the oven on and what I did I popped them in the oven when it was heating up um, and then turned it off over after 30 minutes and then left them in there to cool down um, and they came out perfect absolutely perfect so there we go so because obviously I've, I have like I said before I've not used these before so it was a bit of trial and error on my behalf but um, I they came out fantastic I think so anyway but look at all these beautiful colors you've got all these lovely hot pinks and purples and then if you're into your bright colors you've got all your lovely bright colors or if you're into your your browns this one is copper and it comes out lovely so that's the um, oven baked clay and I'm loving them so I will show you in a minute what I have made but they are lovely lovely and they're really really easy to use look there's a big blob here but I've just mixed some of mine together all the le leftover bits that I had um, which it doesn't ma matter what colour you have in the end um, because what I did I painted over it so I've got to show you how I did that I'm going to show you what I did with that so let's pop all these you get some tools you get five little tools as well which are brilliant which are really really handy um, for poking and shaping everything so they go in there and the little bit there so that's a lovely lovely box of bits and pieces in there okay so what I'm going to show you next is the outdoor acrylic colours. Now these are lovely as well. Now these are water based, they're scruff resistant, they're self healing and you can use them indoor or outdoor and they're non-toxic. Um, so you get 20 fantastic colours. Now again I have been playing with these um, and they are lovely to work with. They're water based so again you can water them down because they're quite thick so they go really really do go a long way because um, I've used these quite a lot brilliant and you get here you get the gold and where's the silver you get the gold and the silver now the gold and the silver have mica powder in them and that's what gives them that beautiful beautiful shine to them look can you see how I've been using them so they've got that beautiful shine to them and they're absolutely lovely really really nice to work with you can paint on wood glass um anything really um that goes on outside you can do terracotta pots um i'm going to show you some pots that i've done which i've done on sort of like the galvanized pots um and they are brilliant they just this i love this color really really love this color um so you've got all your beautiful colors in here You've got your whites, your greys, so if you want to go for the nice bright colours, you've got that, which is a nice shocking pink. And you've got the orange and the yellow. Look at these, or if you want to go for your um, sort of more muted colours that you like. Beautiful purple, so you've got your browns um, and your greys. No, that one was silver, but you've got your greys and browns. So you've got a really, really lovely colour choice. And again, you've got all your primary colours um, in here as well. So you can make up um, any other colour that you don't have, um, which is lovely. So that is the beautiful outdoor colours, acrylic colours. Now I've used these on 
um, my jelly plate so I'm going to show you those as well I just wanted to show you everything first what we get now these are fantastic the mica powders now these are going to be the giveaway prize because um, these are stunning love 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 these now we've got quite a few videos that I've seen on these um, um, so you know lots and lots of uses I'm sure some of you have seen them before um, on videos on showing you how to use them you can mix them with your glues you can mix them with your matte mediums um, you can use, mix them with water um, and make little sprays with them now I was reading some reviews as well and people were saying that some of the pots are less than others um, but they all have five grams in them but again the mica powders are different weights um, so some of them will look a little bit emptier than the others but they are all five grams um, so don't worry if you look at one pot and it's sort of like half empty um, or one pot that's full they all have five grams in them but beautiful beautiful colors absolutely gorgeous colors now what I'm going to do I'm going to show you what I did on here now I've made two um, color charts here now I hope you can see these yes just about now I've done one on a white card and one on black card and you can see the difference here um, now I've made these because I'm going to put these on my wall so I can actually see um, when you're doing a project you can actually see which looks better on the black and the white card and which sort of like pops better but look on the black you can see them all shiny like that now what I've done if you mix them with water they will come off um, so I think you need gum arabic to keep them the, them um, in you know so they don't rub off but all as I did because I didn't have any of that I used them I used my little embossing stamp pad and one of my little dobbers like this so like that and I just dobbed it on here and then rubbed some of the mica powder on top now to keep it from falling off or rubbing off what I did was I just sprayed it with a little bit of hairspray um, you can get the fixing spray as well but I don't have any of that either so I just spray them with hairspray and it doesn't come off at all okay so if you're going to do these in your journals you can just spritz it with a bit of hairspray and that will work as well um, but I think they are just stunning look at these orangey colours see how they're different they look on both black and white paper just beautiful really really beautiful so loving loving those um, so look at these that's a beautiful copper now we've got lots of these little clear ones like, or not clear but white um, if you look on here these are the ones here and if I, I'm hoping you can see that if you shine it you've got a pink glow you've got the green glow you've got like an orangey and a gold glow in them so what if you hold it one way they're one color and then you tilt them they're a different color and again on here and more vibrant they are here so that's the pink there and that's the same one I did number them and it's quite nice actually because the numbers are on the top so you can actually look at these you don't have to sort of pick them up you can actually see the numbers because they're on top of the jars um, but I'm loving these you get your little spoon to do your mixing with which is nice and look at that bronze so it's like opening up a big box of chocolates isn't it all shiny and yummy or a big box of jewels look at these fantastic right now I'm going to show you what I have been making with them all okay so I'm going to show you first some of the things here now this is I've used the paint the outdoor paint and also the oven baked clay now these are just like like galvanized pots that I picked up and I've made the little um, I had a little um, in the little molds 
um, with little flowers and I baked the clay onto this so I put the whole thing in the oven because it's metal and these just stick on um, and then I painted over the whole thing with the lovely outdoor paints and look at the colours you can see the gold in there which is absolutely beautiful so I've tried to make it look um, sort of like oldie woldie um, which I hope I have done and I love it absolutely love it and then on this one this is the clay again which I've made a little heart and then I pop these in a mould um, on there and I baked these onto here and then I painted it afterwards but make sure it's really um, cooled down first and I think that would look beautiful how lovely gift would that make for somebody you could pop a little pot plant inside there um, I didn't do great big ones so I thought I'd do some little ones and you could even pop that on your desk to make a little bin to put all your little bits and pieces in um, this one here this is on glass so this is just a glass jar and I put the outdoor paints on there and I think that looks really really lovely so it's a nice sort of um, autumny colours isn't it I popped a little bit of um, trim it's a little bit around here but a seam binding and then on here I've made a little mica powder tag so all as that is is a piece of wood little wooden tag that you can buy um, and I pop mica powders on it now to keep the mica powders on there what I did I used clear nail polish so I painted it with clear nail polish and then I just added the mica powders on top like that and that just seals it completely and I think it looks beautiful so that you could hang pop in one of your journals as well and I think it looks really really lovely so those go together really well and then on here I have just made a couple of picture frames so that one I just painted white um, with the outdoor paints a um, little bit of black and then I've just popped some little spiders webs seen we're nearly into Halloween so we're in October so that's a very very simple one to do this one here I'm hoping you can see I've painted this with the outdoor acrylic paints and this is the um, oven baked clay which I've just made into little flowers and on here I've made some pumpkins and I've popped the before I popped it in the oven I didn't pop it in the oven these are all separate and I glued them on um, before I popped it in the oven I painted them over with some mica powders and you can see I want to hope you can see them shiny on there so I think it looks beautiful on there and the mica powders just go straight into the um, the oven baked clay they just stick on lovely really really nice so I think that is beautiful love 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 this picture frame I will do some close-ups of the pictures in the end of the video now I wanted to show you these as well now these are the outdoor paints um, the outdoor acrylic paints and what I did with this I used them with my little jelly plate and look at them I think it's fantastic they work so well on the jelly plate and they give a nice sort of sheen to the your work like that so I just wanted to make like a patchwork um, paper so that's a beautiful backing paper and this one again hoping you can see I've got some use some of the gold in there so you can see the mica powder in there how it shines like that so it's lovely um, gives it a really really lovely texture to it and I've just used the stencil on there as well so that makes fantastic backing papers on there and they're beautiful colours I love this because this sort of like makes it look really old and I think it looks fantastic so that is a great way to use the outdoor acrylics, acrylic paints now another I'm going to show you these projects now that I've done now these are all done with the um, oven baked clay and some of the mica powders now I just need to zoom in maybe a little bit let's just come in a little bit there we go just so you can see a little bit closer now here like on the little jar these are the what I've done with the mica powders on the wood so these are just painted I painted it like I said with clear nail polish 
um, and then sprinkled some of the mica powders on top like that and I've just left that as it is but on this one I did it and then when it was dry I added some diamond glaze to the top and that just gives it a little bit of shininess and a bit more depth to it but I think they look absolutely amazing really really love them and there's a little green one there and on these I have a little die cut which are button shapes these are just done on paper that's just on paper like that and what I've done and take them off here I used some of the embossing ink on there so it's clear I sprinkled on some of the uh, mica powders um, on top and then I put the diamond glaze on top so it's all shiny so they're nice and hard they're nice and hard and I think they got beautiful beautiful shine to them and these can all be used in your journals look at that I think they are stunning really really lovely I've had so much fun with all this stuff I really have now again I've made some little buttons here now this is the um, oven baked clay on here and also the mica powders I've rubbed on the top so these are a mixture of colours that I had and I just popped it the mica powders on top like that and I've made some little buttons and I think they're stunning look at those so you can tie, the, tie them on you can attach those to your journals any of your tags any of they just all work really really well and obviously you can paint them colours to match your journal or what type of journal that you're using but I think they are beautiful now on these here I have a little flower mould so I've made some beautiful little flowers this is the polymer clay and then on each one what I've done I've popped a different colour um, mica powder over the top now I think they're beautiful and how la what a lovely little embellishment to pop onto um, your journals I think they're beautiful look at that I love that pink just stunning so they're just in little moulds like that and you just brush them with mica powder and then pop them in the oven pop them in the oven for half an hour um, and then they come out and you've got a lovely little bunch of flowers or whatever you're going to do these ones are another mould that I had now this is oopsie daisy this is the same one that I popped onto here like that so I've just brushed these this one I added this was white and I added the mica powder purple mica powder mm -hmm. to the actual clay um, the oven baked clay and mixed it up and that's what colour it came out these ones I brushed with the mica powder and I think they look fantastic really really lovely so just so many ideas these are some beautiful little wings which I've used the mica powder on just stunning aren't they and here I've made a little feather and I've popped it onto a little pin so it's a little brooch um, but you could pop that onto the front of one of your journals couldn't you as a closure got a little bit of ribbon pop that on there as the closure um, got a little butterfly there this one I have made a ring now I have got some just sort of like blank um, rings and bracelets because um, I do my dragon's eye so I popped some polymer clay in there look you can make a little flower brushed it with a little bit of the mica powder just to give it a little bit of a lovely sheen and I baked the whole thing in the oven so I've just popped the whole thing into the oven what I did I got some some um, tin foil um, and I, I made a little um, holder for it so it didn't lie down so it's upright um, and it baked lovely and it's same as this one loving this one it's a little rose that I've made on there so again I baked it all together so that's not going to come off there because it all pops in so look at that beautiful imagine making lovely Christmas gifts for these <gasps> be fantastic and each one will be completely different look at that and there is I've just 
brushed it again with some mica powders just to give it that lovely sheen to it beautiful really really lovely and here I've made some little earrings so these are tiny little flowers like that we've brushed with some mica powders on there look at that beautiful aren't they they're just little earrings I pop those straight in the oven obviously I didn't put the back on there I just pop those into the oven like that and they baked lovely so fantastic gifts for people and really really fun 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 thing to make and this one I've just made a bracelet like that with some little flowers on it and leaves little rows um, so it's fun you don't, obviously you don't have to use flowers you can do any any design you don't have to do anything you could just do a design um, sort of abstract design but I think they are just beautiful love 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 had so much fun um, and here we've got a little um, mushroom little toadstool a couple of little toadstools so now it's autumn um, this would look lovely on one of your autumn journals get that mica powder over the top so the polymer clay or the oven baked clay works fantastic fantastic with the mica powders um, I'm absolutely loving it I love it, everything with it played with it for ages and ages okay so this is going to be our giveaway the beautiful beautiful mica powders so I want to say a big big thank you to Arteza for doing this for sponsoring this um, giveaway now I've got some rules wait a minute whatever I did with them here they are Andy wrote them out for me so to enter the competition to win these um, you must be a subscriber to um, the Arteza YouTube channel and my channel um, and I'd like you to make a comment on one of Arteza's videos so just pop along and have a look at their videos they've got some amazing videos that people have done um, just pop a comment under one of those um, and also obviously comment under this video because that's where I'm going to pick the winner from so once you've commented I can pick a winner from that um, and let's have a look and the um, it, the competition is for the US the UK and the EU um, anyone that's in the EU as well so um, that's who's can, who can enter um, and that's where our taser our taser will actually be sending it directly to you it's not going to come from me it's going to come directly from our taser okay so if you pop your comment underneath that's where it's going to be I'm going to leave it for a week so um, it will be um, seven days after this has gone out so they are and then I will announce the winner but I absolutely love 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 these so please do pop along to the Arteza um, website have a look you get and you get um, there's a discount code um, which I'm going to pop down under the video uh, pop, along, pop along as well to the Arteza YouTube channel because they're fantastic really really lovely um, and good luck to everyone now loving these love 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 these um, I will be using these in videos I'm going to do some demos for you um, in other videos um, so you can see exactly how I've made some of these projects um, so big big thank you to Arteza for this giveaway um, thank you to everybody for watching and um, I do hope you have a fantastic day and good luck to everybody all right guys thank you so much for joining me take care and I will see you soon bye bye